What's up, everybody? Celtic Scarecrow here, back with our video. Get those tens and twenty views. I gotta get back to used to uh, doing videos. Yeah, you take one week off, you get completely out of the fluky is. But it's Thursday, which means time for my NFL predictions. Panthers are playing. I may be live streaming this. I haven't fully decided because I do have Twitch. I can watch it on there, but I won't actually throw it up. It, it all depends. But this is the first one I am doing in two weeks. So I have two weeks of uh, scores that I have to get to. And I have to turn my battery saver mode off because, you know, I like to see the games I pick. But in week eight, I went 11 and 5. Yes. Uh, week nine. I went 11 3. Yes. Now, this is the time of year where I actually, not even though I'm not really even watching football, I should know instinctively who are the uh, good teams, bad teams, and whatnot. But let's, uh, which I didn't update my total. So that is, I need to add a few moments later. That brings me to. 77 and 59. I forgot to do it in the phone. Sorry. 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 But let's get to it. To tonight's game. I usually say Panthers for last, but it's the Thursday night's game, so let's just skip it. I have things to say about the Panthers, and I want to get off my chest. Um, starting off with another game in Germany. We got the the Indianapolis Colts versus the New England Patriots. The Colts whooped our ass. Uh, no, lies, lies. Bryce Young cost us that game. I want to say it out loud. He threw two pick six. Both were bad passes he shouldn't have thrown. And we lost by 14. But I am giving Indy the win here. I have zero faith in uh, the Patriots right now. And um. There's a high plausibility that Bill Belichick comes back to America unemployed. Next in the one o'clock window, we got the Houston Texans versus the Cincinnati Bengals. CJ Stroud had a monster comeback. He is playing like a first round draft pick kind of should look and a top Two picks should look. But I'm giving the win to the Bengals. They seem to have figured it all out. And now they're going to hopefully be moving forward. Next up, you have the New Orleans Saints versus the Minnesota Vikings. This game is the game of which direction are either team going. Like, this game should slingshot one of these two teams into, like, playoff hopes. And the team I picked was Minnesota. Yeah, screw you, Saints. I'm still not picking you to be <laughs> win the division. Uh, Next up, we got the Green Bay Packers versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, shout out to Tom Grassi for being named Packers Fan of the Year. I didn't know that was a thing that people could be like voted or suggested to be their team's fan of the year. So well done. Well done. He deserves it. Uh, and because of that, I'm going Packers. Because why not? Uh, Mike Thomas is going to will this team to a 500 record, but you know, I'm still going Packers. Let's see. Let's see. The next game up is the Tennessee Titans versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Mayo Man is playing very good. If you saw my pre-draft board, I had him as quarterback one. Due to his size over. It's more or less his size took uh it went Levis Stroud Young with my top three. And more or less he was the one I thought was the most durable of the three. That was kind of the thing there. Um, and I, for that reason, I am going Tampa Bay. I think his big arm will open up their offense. So, 
Then we got the San Francisco 49ers versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. Jaguars, I am shocked to see that their record is 6-2. and two. To be honest, I thought they were doing a lot worse. Um, Niners, I talked to a Niners fan who is not happy at Steve Wilkes because uh, their defense was ranked 1, ranked 1 for the, for the past couple of years, and now they're ranked in the top. Their bottom half is the top 10. But I am going Niners. They are coming off a bye, I believe, so momentum. Next up, we have the Cleveland Browns versus the Baltimore Ravens, you know, the team that ran from Cleveland. And um, Lamar Jackson right now is uh, MVP. So I'm having the Baltimore Ravens picking up the win. Then for our cheapest game of the night, we got Bird on bird crime. You have the Atlanta Falcons versus the Arizona Cardinals. Um, Kyler Murray may be getting the start, but I have the uh, I did not write this game down. Huh. Why did I say Lions? Why did I type out Lions? Um, I have the Falcons win this game. Um, I think Arizona is either going to be showing off uh, Kyler to be traded or they're trying to pray to God and see if they actually have anything there with it. But yeah, I'm going Falcons this one. Next up, we got the Detroit Lions versus the Los Angeles Chargers. Lions, I think the Lions are the better team. They are most likely winning the North. And they have a good shot of getting the number one overall seed. I would not put it past them. Then we got the New York Giants versus the Dallas Cowboys, which almost was the cheapest game of the night at $21. The lowest, lowest ticket. That's all I'm going off of. Um... Cowboys, I have zero faith in the Giants. They are slowly creeping into that worst team in football. I'm still not saying Panthers. I'm still not saying Panthers. Uh, then we got the Washington Commanders versus the Seattle Seahawks. I am going slight upset. I'm going commies. No faith in the Seattle defense. A slight faith in their offense. Like when I look over, and this is oh, why aren't you loading? It's like okay, they're it's like they gave up 37, 20, 10, 27 to Carolina. So their defense is not going out there, and Washington can air the ball out. Then we got the most expensive game. Don't know why, with tickets as low as $162, the New York Jets versus the Las Vegas Raiders. I am going Raiders. New coach, new system, new winning streak. And this game is actually a has uh, the Jets as a more or less two-point favorite. And the Monday night game, the Denver Broncos versus the Buffalo Bills. A game that could be surprisingly entertaining. Because the Bills are slowly working their way out, of my opinion, of the worst team. But I'm still going Buffalo. And last but not least, tonight's game. Thursday Night Football. The Carolina Panthers versus the Chicago Bears. Um, I am going Panthers. No Justin Fields, potentially. So, it's like I could not, they have another, they had that kid that was like a, Dan Orlowski has it. Yeah, that baguette guy. He's starting, but Carolina, like, I just have slightly more faith in the Panthers. Like, I've watched 
the Bears consistently not look good. Where like it's like their wins come against the Oakland Raiders and the Washington Commanders. Other than that, they're barely scoring points against bad teams. So now for the Panthers. Unless we somehow run the gauntlet and finish nine and seven, I guess it would be. Yeah, nine and seven. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, uh, we're not making the playoffs. So the best thing, smartest thing we can do is a fire Scott Fitterer. He's been drafting badly, trading badly, signing badly. That's the thing. With that in mind, let's start looking at the younger guys on our roster. Uh, Blackshear. Travis Marshall Jr., you never requested a trade. Let's see what we have. So that way, this offseason, when we hopefully get a real GM that can work with Frank Wright and be like, all right, cool. Here's how we're building this team. We know we got a potential stud guy here, a potential stud guy here, a potential stud guy here. We need to fix everything else. Like, I think the few names that are probably going to be saved in my massive, like, who who actually is saved is, of course, is Bryce Young. Obvious. We can't give up after one year, especially since we don't have a first-round draft pick. Frankie Luvu, who's been just a beautiful gem on that defense. Brian Burns, pay the man, for the love of God. Pay the man. And surprisingly, Tommy Tremble, who's kind of becoming Bryce's red zone guy, so and, oh, and Derek Brown, sorry, and Derek Brown and other than that, I'm almost saying every position's up to grab that's it, that's all I got, um, like I said, I potentially will be live here and we'll go from there, so until then I will see you weird people later